um, probably the most butchered exercise possible in the FRC system, I would say. Um, it's often confused with the shin box, where we're just kind of flipping over really lazily like this. That's ex literally the opposite of what we want to do here. So what we're going to have you do is she's going to sit up nice and tall. you got a couple of different options with your hands. Personally, I like this. This is an option. This is an option. Whatever it is, we're using our hands and our upper body to create tension and try to stay up tall on the spine. The other goal that we want is we want to think about her belly button up is separate from her hips. So we're basically trying to dissociate the upper body from the hips and have that freedom and strength and movement of the hips without the whole entire body coming along for the ride. So as she's doing this, she's going to think about pointing her belly button and her chest this way. And also you can even kind of use the hands to direct that at the same time. So as you're turning this way, you can keep your hands here instead of letting them fall and have the belly button turn. It's going to take some time to get there. So sniffs and some air gets nice and tight. First thing that's super important, she's going to drive that left knee into the ground as hard as she can. I want a five second count of just ramping the left knee into the ground. From there, she's going to slowly start to control this, externally rotating at the hip, driving that open. As she's opening that up, she's going to max that out before this leaves the ground. And from here, I'm going to have her just stay here. Don't even let this up yet. Keep this down. How are we going to let her know that that's down? By keeping that tennis ball under there, we can do that. So she's going to open all the way up. Now this can lift off the ground. Now stay here. So here's the bear sit position. Uh, this is a great position, we can stretch as well, but I want her to be able to stay here and be strong and notice that she's got tons of tension, her abs are tight, her chest is tall. Look at the dissociation between the hips and the rest of the body. Now from here, she's going to slowly start to turn that in there. We want to try to use our toes to grip the ground and really use them as feedback to the hip. Slowly turning that in. Ideal world, you're going to end up in the 90-90 again, right? Because that's what we're doing, transitioning from one to the other. And this one's going to slowly come down. So how are we going to make that better? If they're having trouble with that, we can go ahead and undo there again. Now she's going to ramp into this, so five seconds down, five, four, three, two, one. Now get that up as high as you can without leaving this. So this is going to stay here. Just like we've been talking about staying in places, that's pretty, pretty important, right? So now she's here, she's going to just drive more, 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 just getting that hip to go to the party. This one is staying home and being good for some homework. Keep driving, keep driving. Now we're gonna have her turn that left hip in, right back. So now she's working internal rotation from her end range, all the way in, nice and slow. Good, all the way open, open up again. She's gotten to that new range, so she, how she's gonna actually get to where she just pushed to and worked to, so see that extra inch that we gained? Now she's gonna open all the way up, keep going, and then this is gonna be allowed to leave the ball. We're gonna to go to the bear sit. Same exact thing, turn this in here. Think about keeping as much of a distance between your hips as possible, so push that left knee into the ground, so there's always as much distance, and then once that closes, this is allowed to close. Now we're going to go ahead and show you, if you're the coach, how we're going to make them stronger, right? So I like to mess with you and all the time with this. This is our 20th time doing this. She's going to go ahead and try to drive open. I'm going to give her that nice tension so she has to fight me to get open. Keep driving, keep driving. I can go up, keep driving. Most people aren't going to get here, but if they do, you're going to need to kind of get a little bit more pressure under because they're trying to drive here. So I want to try to pick her up. Good. Come all the way to here. All the way down, good, and then transition, okay? So from here, how are we gonna fix the other side, right? So she's gonna go ahead and open that all the way up, max that out. Now we need to work from that inner thigh. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on her, go ahead and open all the way up, keep falling, try to drive open, good. All those internal rotators are getting stronger now. Keep driving, driving, driving. Good, good, good. As she drives into the ground, I'm going to really resist here. She's going to have to fire all that stuff, pull it all the way in. Notice that she's still squeezing here all the way down to the ground and down. Good. Okay. So about 10 of those, really, really going to be important. We're going to put your hands behind you. So say you're not a superstar like she is, we're going to go ahead and keep the hands behind us. Drive that left knee into the ground. Open this baby all the way up. Keep going, keep going. Good, now this one's gonna follow and come along. So literally the same exact stuff that you can do with that. A little quick test, say I wanted to go ahead and pales and rails this, I could literally just have her push into me. Five, four, three, two, one, down to the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. So just breaking the entire movement down, all these different ranges, making them stronger, making them slower, gaining control of your body.